a video has been getting a lot of attention on the net lately, exposing Planned Parenthood for selling body parts from aborted fetuses. Some undercover footage was taken by investigators posing as a fetal tissue procurement company in a meeting with a top-level Planned Parenthood abortion doctor named Dr. Deborah Nukatola, where Dr. Nukatola discusses procedures and prices for extracted body parts from aborted fetuses. Let's take a look at a clip of the video. You know, I, I asked her at the beginning of the day what she wanted. Yesterday she wanted, she's been at, a lot of people want attack parts these days because they're looking for specific nodes, A, B nodes, S, A. I was like, wow, I, I didn't even know. Good for them. Yesterday was the first time she said people wanted lungs. I, uh -huh. um, and then, she, but like I said, always as many intact livers as possible. People just want Yeah, livers. People want lower extremities right too, which that's, that's simple. I mean, that's easy. I don't know what they're doing with it. I guess they want muscle. But yeah, a dime a dozen. <laughs> If you'd like to watch the video in its entirety, I'll include a link to it in the description box. Although buying or selling human body parts is a felony and the commercial traffic of body parts from an aborted baby is punishable by 10 years in prison and a fine of up to $100,000, Planned Parenthood will most likely get away with what they have been doing because they claim they are providing organs from aborted fetuses for research purposes, like stem cell research, from willing donors, and they do not profit from it. Federal law allows for that. However, the following clip of Dr. Nukatola discussing organ prices makes it doubtful, in my mind, that Planned Parenthood does not profit from this. Every provider has had patients who want to donate their tissue, and they absolutely want to accommodate them. They just want to do it in a way that is not perceived as this clinic is selling tissue, this clinic is making money off of this. Okay, so um, when, when you are or the affiliate is determining what that, what that is monetary, yes, so that it doesn't raise, raise any of the question of this is, this is what it's about, this is the main thing, what, what price range would you you know, I, I'm going to throw a number out. I would say it's probably anywhere from $30 to $100, depending on the facility and what's involved. The $30 to $100 price, or that's per yes. specimen that we're talking per about, specimen. right? Yeah. Yes. The $30 to $100 price, or that's per yes. specimen that we're talking per about, specimen. right? Yeah. Yes. Then there's the issue of how these extractions are performed. They're very similar to partial birth abortions, which are against the law. Watch how Dr. Nukatola deals with this issue. Federal abortion ban is a law, and laws are up to interpretation. So if I say on day one I do not intend to do this, what ultimately happens doesn't matter. Did she just say what I think she said? If you claim your intention was not to perform a partial birth abortion and you get caught performing one later during a procedure anyway, then you are free from legal recourse. I don't know about you, but to me, this is sounding more and more like Planned Parenthood finding legal loopholes in order to extract and sell organs of aborted fetuses to make a profit and technically avoid breaking the law. Dr. Nukatola then went on to say that Planned Parenthood wanted to create a menu of baby organs to pass around to companies interested in purchasing them, but legalities got in the way. The, one of the Northern California affiliates said, we're working with these people, we love them, we think every affiliate should work with them. And so we had a conversation, and we said, you know, let's, what do you think, we'll just go out and find all the people that are doing this and present everybody with a menu, and, and they, at the end of the day, they just decided it's, right now it's too touchy an issue for us to be an official middleman. It's bad enough that Planned Parenthood aids in the murder of innocent babies, because that's what abortions are. The Bible indicates that conception is life. For example, Jeremiah chapter 1 verses 4 through 5 reads, Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. At conception, even before Jeremiah started developing as a fetus in his mother's womb, the Bible says that God recognized him as a person and ordained him as a prophet while he was still in his mother's womb. If a fetus wasn't a person and considered a living being, I don't think God would have said he knew Jeremiah and had given him a prophetic call before he was born. 
What you're looking at right here is the face of a murderer, a person who kills innocent, unborn children for a living. And it's legal. Since 1970, Planned Parenthood has been responsible for the deaths of 6.8 million babies in the United States. And that's only Planned Parenthood. The total number of abortions in the US from all abortion clinics combined since 1973 is actually 58 million. And each day, around 3,000 babies are aborted in the United States. Worldwide statistics are even worse with a total of 1.3 billion abortions since 1980. An undercover video recently surfaced of a top-tier Planned Parenthood official discussing the extraction and sale of fetal organs. Some of Planned Parenthood's techniques are questionable, to say the least. If the extraction and sale of unborn baby organs is not shocking enough, abortions in America have totaled over 58 million since 1973 and over 1.3 billion since 1980. I don't know how much longer God's patience will hold out until Jesus decides to come back and bring this to an end. All I can say is, come back soon Jesus and help your people to get ready. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it. Subscribe if you're new and check out some of my past videos by clicking on the screen. I'm sure you'll enjoy them if you liked this one. Also, if you'd like to show your support for my channel in the form of a donation, just click on the donation link in the description box. Your donations make a difference and help keep this channel going. God bless.